Hi, everybody. We're going to take a look at this uh, counting words program, and uh, there's some interesting little challenges here. The general idea is that we're going to look at a string, and I'll put spaces between the words so that we can um, uh, see how that works. I love you madly. Maybe we'll do something like that. Uh, that's going to be our string that we're going to be looking at. And one of the things that you can do, uh, one simple strategy is to say, well, I'll count up the spaces. I'll set up a loop that's going to go through the whole string, and every time I get a space, I'll count it. There's one, there's two, there's three, and then I'll add one to the number of spaces to give me four, and that is how many uh, words there are in that string. So even if that comma wasn't there, if we were just counting up the spaces, even if we had a period at the end, that would work. Um, counting spaces is a simple way of uh, trying to get words. It can get thrown off by um, simple things like uh, me, space, space, uh, I, uh, I'm mad. There you go. Uh, well, if you have a couple of extra spaces there, then all of a sudden I'm going to get three spaces and then you add one and that's going to get four. And that's not correct because there's only three here. So double spaces can mess things up. Um, I guess what we really need to do, we need to come up with a more sophisticated way of going through and counting things up. Maybe one that doesn't rely on spaces, that relies on looking at the individual characters uh, that are in a word. And so what I'm going to propose for this, and this is going to take a few minutes to go through, and this is maybe the first really interesting problem that uh, allows us to dig into um, problem-solving strategies. What I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to develop a strategy, basically a three-part strategy that says, uh, when I find a word, when I find the first character in a word, and so that'll be some sort of uh, alphabetic character, right? Uh, something that's A to Z, maybe. Uh, I'm going to start counting that as a word. So I'll count uh, a word. And then what I'll do is I'm going to keep on going through and I'll just keep on going through, and I'm not going to count any more because I got to the first character in the word, so uh, I won't add another word to my word counter until I get to the next first character in a word. So that brings up the question then, well, how do I know if it's a first character? How do I know if it's the first character in a word? Because um, there's a lot of ways that I could be... Uh, trying to keep track of that. Um, is it the first character after a space? Yep, that would be a first character in a word. But this character here at the very beginning doesn't have a space in front of it. And so how am I gonna how am I gonna account for that guy? And what happens if it's something like um, mad fun? That's pretty much considered two words there and this this character right here isn't a space, or and it's not the first character in the string. So uh, when I get to the F, I'd need to start counting a new word there. So how, how do I know if it's the first character in a word? I guess basically what it is, is uh, we need to know if it's a letter. We'll know, uh, we can keep track if we're in a word basically as we go through, maybe with a Boolean variable. And what we'll need to find out then is we'll need to uh, figure out is, uh, we'll have to have some way of figuring out, how do I know if a character is a letter or not? Because if it's a letter and I'm not in a word, then I'm going to say, oh, this must be the first character in a word, and I'm counting it. If it's a letter and I'm already in a word, I'm not going to worry about it. If it's not a letter, and I have been in a word, then I'm going to have to say, oh, I'm no longer in a word. And so all of that in a word thing, uh, that makes me think that I need to have a, uh, a Boolean variable in a word. So I'm going to have a Boolean variable that I will set to either true or false, depending on the situation. That's going to be part of my strategy as I figure that out. And how do I, how do I know if a character is a letter? I'm actually going to set up a little function. I'm going to write a function. to check to see if a letter is in the alphabet. If it's in the A through Z range. 
these are all fun things to be able to do. We're going to do them right now. There are shortcuts to doing some of these things. There's Python shortcuts that would make this kind of easy, but I want to assume that we don't really know how to do all those things. We're just going to use our basic string slicing, you know, figuring out the characters in the string, and we'll use basic loops. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let me call this up. I'm going to go ahead and bring up a terminal here. I'm going to be working, uh, writing a program here on the side. I think it's, uh, what is it, count words or something like that? Count words. I'm not sure. You'll have to make sure you get the right name there. I'm going to write it as count words. And so, yeah, this is a Python script. And over on the other side here, I'm going to be running the program and testing it as we go. So, well, let me do this first thing here. I, uh, the first thing I said I was going to do was I was going to, um, or actually the last thing here, how do I know if a character is a letter? I'm going to write a function to check to see if a letter is in a range of letters that have been given to me. So def, um, I'll write this as contains, and I'm going to send in a letter. And then I'm also going to send in a string of letters, and this will be true if the letter that I'm sending in, sending in is in letters. Returns true if letter is in the string letters. And how do we do that? Uh, I guess I'm just going to go through. This is one way to just go through. I'll say um, for i in range length of letters. And again, there are other ways to do this, but I'm just going to do it this way. So that's going to go through the entire length of that letters there. And if letter, the letter I'm checking for, is equal to letters i, and I'm going to check all those letters I. If at any point I find that, I'm just going to return true. I'm going to jump out. I'm going to forget my loop. I'm going to return immediately because I found a match. Letter is in letters. I don't want to say else return false because that's, you know, the first time I don't find the letter, the first time the letter doesn't match this, then I'm just going to jump out with a false. And that's not right. I need to check all the letters. So I want to keep on going through my loop. I only want to return false if I've gone through the entire loop and I haven't returned true yet. So I'll return false. I guess letter isn't in letters. So I'll return false from that. And let me test that real quickly before I run off and do anything else. Let me write a real quick main program just with a tester in there. And I'll print uh, is E in elephant. I'll see if that's true or false. Let me put this in here. And then let's go ahead and run that program and see what happens. I'm going to jump over here and uh, Python. What did I call it? Count words. I think you're supposed to call it word count, but Python count words. E in elephant. Uh, oh, well, I don't want to just print E elephant. What I want to do is print contains E elephant. And I think that's going to return true because, again, E is an elephant. So when I run that, it says true. Cool. And what happens if I go back over here and I look for a Q in here? What if I run Q? on that. It says false. So I think maybe probably contains is working the way I want it to. So with that in mind, then let's go through and let's see if we can figure out then how to write a function that's going to count the words. And let me go back again to what I was thinking about earlier on. How do I know if it's the character in a word? I'm looking for first characters. Oh, and I had this idea of in a word is equal to true or false. So if I'm writing the function count and I'm going to send in a phrase, and I'm going to go through in that phrase and count the words, I guess, um, well, I'm going to need a, a word counter in there. So I'll just say word count equals zero. And at the very beginning, I am not in a word. So I'm going to write this in a word variable. And I'm going to set it equal to false because I'm not in a word yet. And let's think about how I want to do this now. I'm going to go through one at a time. What I did over here is I said uh, at the very beginning, I'm, I'm, I'm basically going to go through every character in here. And when I find the first character, I'm going to say that I've counted a word. 
So um, if I'm going to be going through all the characters, I guess that's a loop. So let me set that up for i in range length of phrase, because phrase is going to have all these letters in it, right? So this is going to go through, and I'm going to be looking at each letter, which is phrase i. And what am I looking for? I guess, um, well, if, let me do this. I'll say if contains, if it actually is a letter and not just a character, I should change that. Look at each character. And if that phrase I, the character I'm looking at right now, is in a bunch of letters, specifically all these letters, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, W, X, Y, Z. If phrase i the character i'm looking at now is in those letters ooh let me uh make sure that i'm working with a lowercase version since i'm just checking the lowercase characters if the lowercase version of my letter move this over here so i have all the room i need yeah um well that's cool then then uh, that means i've got a letter do I need to count words? Do I need to count that as a word? Only if I'm not in a word. So if I'm not in a word currently, then I'm going to say in a word is now equal to true. That Boolean expression is letting me know I am in a word, and I'm going to add one to word count. I wasn't in a word before, but now I am, and so I'm going to set in a word equal to true, and I'm going to add one to my word counter. What if I wasn't in a word? What if I found a letter? What if the, the letter, I have a character that's in there, but I'm already in a word? I'm not not in a word. I am in a word. In that case, I'm not going to do anything. I can just put pass in there. No need to do anything. I'm already in a word, and I've already counted the word, so... There's nothing I need to do. In fact, I could just leave off this whole else thing here. What if, though, what if this contains phrase, what if the character that I'm looking at is not a letter? If it's not a letter, well, then that means as I've been going through up here, if I was in a word, I guess if I was in a word and it's not a letter, then I'm no longer in the word. So if I was in a word, I need to make sure that in a word gets converted to uh, or changed to false because I'm not there anymore. I found a non-letter character. What if I wasn't in a word? Well, if I wasn't in a word and I'm I, and I don't have a letter, then I'm still not in a word, so I don't really need to do anything there. Uh, and in fact, I guess. If I'm uh, if in a word was false and I'm leaving it at false, and if in a word is true and I'm setting it to false, I guess I don't really need to check. Just doing some changing here. Uh, then I'm going to set in a word equal to false. I'm just going to, even if it was false before, there's no harm in setting it to false again. And that's going to go through and count up all the letters. I think. Let's return word count and see what happens. It's a little bit complex here. Uh, I built up here a helper function that's going to allow me to figure out whether or not letters are in a phrase. And now I'm going through and trying to count things. Let's see what happens if I print out. I'll print out two things. I'll print out um, the count for hello, which I expect to be one. So I'll print out that one there next to it. I'll just say, yeah, uh, expected. And then I'll put what I was looking for there. That's a good way of making sure that this is working. What if I was to count uh, hello there, I would expect to get two. And what if I printed count um, tricky, this one, yes. And I'll put a bunch of spaces in there and all sorts of things to try and mess it up. And hopefully that has four words in it. Hopefully I'll get four printed out. And we might want to do a more detailed analysis. We'll see if this actually ends up working here. I'm going to go ahead and save it.
Let's run it and see what happens. Oh my goodness, Python count words one expected, two expected, four and four. It looks like this strategy for trying to solve this word counting uh, problem is a fairly robust one.